you prefer this side or this side? Do you have a preference? Where are you comfortable? Right here? Wonderful. Let's talk to Abdullah. Salam, everyone. Do you struggle to be yourself? Do I struggle to be myself? I think, similar to you, uh, the mayor, there's a lot more rules of aibness that you have to understand. And people love Abdullah Hassan Hamoud and the idea of it becoming mayor until you no longer do. Um, and so I, I don't struggle to be myself. I enjoy being myself. But what I realize is people will enjoy you as yourself until it's no longer beneficial to their ultimate goal or whatever it might be. And so I'm the, I, I love being myself. Sometimes I think my wife might not enjoy what I do uh, for a living. You know, if you're trying to eat at Malik al Kebab or something and it becomes a co coffee hour because everybody's walking up to talk about garbage and taxes and, and I'm just trying to eat my hummus and mtabal. And, but uh, I think there's a few times that you're just like, man, I really wish I wasn't the mayor right now. My wife is like, I can't believe I married a politician. And so, but alhamdulillah, most of the time, I'm, I'm proud of uh, and happy with who I am. Um, I, uh, I, I can't possibly relate to the degree that you must face, but I know as a teacher uh, in, in, in the school system, uh, I also feel sometimes that there's a role I have to play both in the classroom and outside of it. You know, and sometimes I get stuck as well on, um, on, on that. Does it... I guess talk to us about what it, what it means to you to be Abdullah and what it means to you to be a resident in Dearborn outside of mayor or otherwise. I, I think, uh, for those who don't know, uh, if I ever introduced myself, forgive me, Abdullah Hassan Hamoud. Um, and for, if you really want to know me, it's, it's, it's understanding my family. I'm the son of Haji Hassan Hamoud, the son of Haji Ghada. I am the second oldest of five siblings. I'm the wife of Fatma Baidun. I'm the Abu Maryam. I'm the father of Maryam, who is uh, 20 months strong now. Um, also in this community, I'm known as the nephew of Sheikh Ahmed Hamoud and Hash Hassan, who takes the Hamlet to the Hajj. And so uh, people know the family in which I grew up in. Um, that's Abdullah at, at its most basic core. Uh, somebody who grew up with as traditional of a Muslim Arab lifestyle as you can imagine within one's household. Um, the strongest identity marker for me is my faith. I'm Muslim before I'm anything. And I think to me that's what holds me true. And I have a firm belief that uh, regardless of what happens in life, and that's what grounds me ultimately on what happens. I think most people, you know, yes, I'm a Dearborn resident. I look at it as I'm Abdullah from Dearborn who happened to graduate from Fortson, the greatest school uh, in the world. And thank you. And uh, if you're from Dearborn High, the exit is that way. Um, and I just happen to have a little extra responsibility. And that responsibility for me, from my perspective, is now a wajib. Things that I must do to help accommodate and improve the quality of life for Dearborn residents across the city, regardless of where you come from, your background, the direction in which you pray. That's my role. Um, and what I would tell you as mayor and that I've learned, even as state rep, I've been doing public service now for seven years. People have a tough time differentiating between Abdullah the elected and Abdullah the Muslim. Uh, and I think that's what typically opens up the, the door for criticism. Are you saying there's like a, there's a struggle between personal identity and professional identity? Absolutely. Like I imagine that? similar to you. You know, sure. you're a teacher. And I imagine people think that teacher has to have a certain decorum and etiquette that Yusuf might not be able to have. And if they criticize you, they're not criticizing you for the quality of teacher that you are. They're criticizing you for the fluidity and who Yusuf is when he's outside the classroom. Uh, and I think that, that, that's where people don't understand. Um, do, you ever, do you feel there's a reward as well for being in this position? For example, you mentioned a responsibility, and that is a professional responsibility. Is there a personal responsibility as well in the, in the position you're in? Absolutely. Uh, there, there's, you know, regardless of what you do for a living, you know, it, it's easier, it's more easily delineated if you're a physician, for example. If you're a cardiac surgeon, your responsibility is to try to achieve 100% success rate with every cardiac surgery that you have. With Mayor, the metrics are a little bit different. People would define it differently. Um, but you have a responsibility to achieve a set of goals that you set out, that you've campaigned on. The difference, though, is you know, when you go see like a physician or a teacher, nobody voted on that surgeon or teacher. There's a certain path. You conclude school. You get your certification. You conduct a fellowship. And you're qualified. 
Um, maybe Yelp reviews exist about how this surgeon is. The reality is when I come into office, I came in with 55% of the vote. So 45% already didn't want me there. And now, it's, now you're teetering. And you know, so this idea that you're trying to make people happy or you have to accommodate to all, you have to throw that out the window. And so the responsibility is there and you have to accept that you will never make 100% of people happy with what you do. If you cannot accept that, this isn't the line of business for you. Um, I guess I'll ask you one more question and then actually we're gonna take a more, uh, more formal interview to talk about you as the mayor, but I'm really curious about you as, as, as the person. Um, and I've known you as the person, you know, and, and, and those of us who have known you all, all have. Um, I guess I wanna leave kind of with, with one quick question. What does, we know, we know Mayor Hamoud, state rep, but I wanna ask you, what does Abdullah want his community to know? Whether it's in this position or personally or otherwise, um, what does Abdullah want to say to us? That's an interesting question. Um, a few things. One is that my f if I can never be there for my family in the capacity that I need to be, that I'd be failing the whole community. Um, so my family, my immediate family is first and foremost, always. It's a non-negotiable for anything that I do. Um, second, as it pertains to me just waking up each and every single day, you know, I, I got asked this question one time, you know, it was two questions. One was, do you think you deserve to be mayor? And the second was, uh, do you want people to know of your successes as mayor? Uh, my answer to the first is, uh, I don't know if I deserve it. And frankly, it doesn't matter. I'm here. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm, um, and and uh, I think, you know, I try to keep myself humble because humility is extremely important. I just try to do the best that I can with the time that I have. And you will decide what happens in a re-election or you know, what, what comes in the future. So I leave that determination to all of you. It's not for me to self-evaluate myself. On the question of, you know, do I want people to know my successes, you know, my response is, I just want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to know what I've done, whether it's public or not. That to me is the ultimate of rewards. I firmly believe that. Again, my faith is the closest thing to me. It's what keeps me grounded. Um, in the most difficult of times, and especially at the times when you feel you're on top of the world. Uh, you know, after, when I first won state rep, um, there's no, you know, there's, there's an amazing feeling when you win an election. I'm not gonna lie about it. It's like a, you know, you have an adrenaline rush. Um, but the very next day, I was at the masjid uh, in Sujud, just praying, knowing that um, I did what I needed to do, and the rest was in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and, and that's all I can ask for. Um, I never pray for something specific. I've never prayed to be mayor. I've never prayed to be state rep. I've always prayed if there's something that has khair for it to come closer. And if there is no khair in this uh, endeavor, I hope it stays away from me. We love you, Abdullah. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Abdullah. I guess here's what we want to do with the remainder of our time. Um, since we have you here as a special guest, we kind of want to uh, maximize that time with you and hear from you. First, we want to talk to you as the mayor and you know, uh, ask some questions regarding those issues. So we'll have an interviewer do that. Um, after that, we can take some questions and answers. If there's anyone who would like to ask uh, Mayor Hamoud any questions, um, if, you, if you're okay with that, we'll do a little bit of that. And if there's a little bit of time at the end, you know, this is an open mic and we invite people to come up and, and uh, kind of share a piece of who they are. Would you be able to share with us uh, something toward the end of the show, something you've written or uh, personal? You, is that something you could do for us? I, I'm, ha I'm happy to go off the cuff. I, I have a, um, I used to do spoken poetry years ago. It's been 15 years. Um, it's been some time, but I don't remember any of that. But I'm happy to just give my random thoughts, if you like. We'd love that, yeah, anything you can do. Of course. Okay, perfect. So um, I guess we'll begin with, with an interview real quick. I'll introduce uh, Wissam Sharafuddin to take it from here. All right, make some noise for Wissam, please. Thank you.